Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to fetch data from an API with Swift UI. So there are a ton of APIs available to the public that you can use freely. And for this tutorial, we'll be using a Breaking Bad API. And I will post the link in the description. Uh, you can see it here as well. Um, but basically, we will be fetching quotes from Breaking Bad, an incredible series that is available on Netflix that I just recently watched for the second time. So now let's go ahead and get started. Here I have a new Xcode project. So what we want to do to start out, we're going to create a struct that's just quote and we're going to make it codable. And here will be our variables var quote underscore ID integer of type integer. And then we're going to go var quote is a string var author, also a string. And we're going to go var series string. So if you only take one thing away from this tutorial, it is that these variables have to exist in the API. If you have ID, for example, if I just went, you know, ID is of type integer, it doesn't work. Okay. Cause I tried it and it failed. So we got to go quote underscore ID, because if you look on the API under quote attributes, this is why I failed. Actually, you can see that it says ID, but when you look at the response, it's quote underscore ID. So that will mess you up. It has to match, it has to match. It has to match. We actually can do without series here. We can comment this out. I'm just including it in case you want to include that in yours. So in our content view, we are going to make a at state private variable called quotes, and it's going to be equal to an array of quotes with parentheses at the end. All right, so let's resume this preview and get rid of this iPod touch. Why is that there? But basically what we're going to do is embed our text in a list and we're going to make the list go through quotes, then we're going to go comma ID backslash dot quote underscore ID. So that's how it will identify them. And then we're going to go quote in. All right. And then we are going to have a V stack. So embed this text in a V stack. Don't worry about the preview right now, but we are going to make the V stack align to leading. And then what we will do is text quote dot author. We're going to make this font dot headline. Then we can go text quote dot quote dot font dot body. I'm going to put mine in a navigation view. So just go to embed outside of the list, go navigation view. And then on the list end brackets, we're going to do dot navigation title quotes. So you can see that. All right, so now we have to write the function to fetch our data. So I'm going to go func fetch data, no parameters, and then I'm going to say async. Now async matches up with await to basically say, hey, if this is taking a while, continue everything else. It's saying that we don't want to wait on this. So you'll see the await part in a second, but basically there's three steps. We've got to create the URL. We have to fetch data from that URL and then we have to decode that data. So for our URL, we're going to say guard let URL is equal to URL string and it is HTTPS colon slash slash www.breakingbadapi.com slash API slash quotes. And then we're going to say else print uh, like an error message. Let's have some fun with this one. We can say, uh, hey man, all caps, this URL does not work because we want to get yelled at. And then we're going to say return because we don't want to continue if it's not working. Okay, so then we're going to fetch the data. So we have to go do, we're going to say let parentheses data comma underscore is equal to try await URL session. 
dot share dot data from URL. Then we're going to say if let decoded response. This is where we are decoding the data. So I'm going to add my comment here. Decode that data. Brother. <laughs> if let decoded response is equal to try question mark is going to be an optional uh, JSON decoder dot decode. And then this is where you're passing what you're basically expecting. So we are expecting an array of quotes. We have to add dot self from our data. This is an if let, so this only works if this decoded response exists. And we're gonna say quotes is equal to decoded response. Now you will notice that we have an error here. Um, errors thrown from here are not handled. So when you have a do, you have to have catch. So catch. We're going to say print. Uh, let's do another funny one. Bad news. Dot, dot, dot. This data isn't valid. Frowny face. <laughs> and um, essentially, that's all the code that you need to fetch the data. Um, we are not fetching it as of now, but if we come under our navigation title, um, the important part is that it's under the list end bracket. We're going to say dot task. Then, this is the other important part that matches up with async. We're going to say await fetch data. And that's essentially it. But I am going to um, make this look a little cooler. I'm going to go to color set and I'm going to create a sky blue. And I'm going to open this right sidebar. You know me. I can't let it just be boring. I'm going to show color panel. And I'm basically going to go like a here, like a, yeah, like that. You don't have to do this part. And then I'm going to come up to quote.author. I'm going to go foreground color uh, is equal to color parentheses named sky blue. Look, we're already getting quotes in our preview. I was not expecting that. And then under uh, quote dot quote, we're going to say dot foreground color is dot secondary. Um, yeah, we should be good to go. I think I put my simulator in dark mode and boom, look at that, huh? I am not in danger, Skylar. I am the danger. Look how cool the dark color scheme looks with that blue. I'm obsessed with this. Then you got Jesse Pinkman saying Funyuns are awesome. And guys, the thing is, I went and found this API because I love Breaking Bad. But if you just look up public APIs, you know, you can do this with any API. There's a Chuck Norris jokes one. There's a dog facts. There's dad jokes. Trust me, picking the topic for this was a little difficult. All right, but um, the important thing is you have to have the variables matching. Notice that we didn't use series, so we could comment series out. And if we build and run again, it works still. But like I said, if you change this to just ID and build and run, first we have to change this to ID down here too, huh? If you try it like this, you'll get you'll see some messages in your logs that it doesn't work. So just make sure these match. Quote underscore ID, quote underscore ID, and we are good to go. And I mean, that was what? Eight minutes? Like it doesn't take a while. Swift UI is awesome. Look at all these breaking bad quotes we didn't have before. Now we have them. All right, you're welcome. Listen, if you guys like this video, if you got any value from it whatsoever, uh, please consider subscribing. That's it, thank you.